Good afternoon, Brandon Hall here at Access RV in North Salt Lake City, Utah. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on one of the brand new floor plans out of Alpha Wolf. This is called their 23RDL. Alpha Wolf's have been a fantastic product. It's the first fully laminated product out of Cherokee. So they really excel in giving you more dollar per dollar than a lot of the competition. Uh, as far as specifics with how they're built, we do have some Alpha Wolf construction quality videos. This is going to be more about this floor plan and I'll touch and go on a few of those things. So for starters, what you'll notice up front here is they are using a high impact gel coat fiberglass front cap. That's going to prevent a lot of the flex that you would get on a traditional front from all the winds. Uh, your seams around the edges aren't compromised and it helps alleviate water leaking issues. They also incorporate these blue LED loading lights into the front and those are going to match the same blue LED accents outside and inside. It's going to have your standard two 5 gallon propane bottles as well as a power tongue jack with a built in loading light. And these are going to be an aluminum frame, block foam insulation, gel coat fiberglass. They use a cable drive on their slides. And this is going to be a true four season unit. You notice in looking under here at the dump station, even though the underbelly is enclosed and insulated, those blade valves are up above that layer so that they're actually in there where it's heated. Uh, a lot of times manufacturers will claim they're four season, but when you look under here, the blade valves are expo exposed and there's nothing to prevent freezing behind that. They're going to be using the slam latches throughout cavernous storage compartment in the front of these always have this really big pass through fully finished inside with lighting working rear water and tv connections they do use a black tank flush which is really nice and like i mentioned they're using the quad cable drive for their slide outs and even the slide walls are fully lamin laminated as well so they're rock solid there Moving more towards the rear, detachable 30 amp shore power cord. This particular guy we ordered with four corner electric stabilizer jacks. Off of the rear, spare tire carrier. Up above you'll notice they are using a crown truss roof, so it is arched, it is walkable. And that conduit is a pre-wire for a Furion backup camera. Coming around here to the entry side. This is a higher profile than some of the other Cherokee products. So with their Moride step, they're using a triple step system. And they laser engrave that Cherokee logo in there, which looks really sharp. And that's going to be your control for the rear stabilizers. As well as a quick connect for a gas line so that you can barbecue outside and not have to carry extra propane. This is going to be a massive 20 foot electric awning. Really sharp aluminum wheels with built in tire pressure monitors. Those change color if your tire pressure gets low as a quick reference. You notice me moving this door. They're using friction hinges. So it's got that tension built into the door hinges and you don't have to worry about that plastic catch that you always break. Outside shower gas and electric DSI water heater and then just underneath the refrigerator service panel are some marine grade exterior speakers with the blue LEDs your TV mount above and as you're seeing here by these stickers this was ordered with the extreme weather arctic package like you see in there as well this is the best insulated Cherokee product that they make the other side of that massive pass-through. Well, let's walk inside here and point out some really cool stuff about the brand new 23RD. Really nice look aesthetically on the inside. They've kind of gone for what I would say is almost a farmhouse look. Really beautiful stainless stink, stainless stink with the farmhouse style as well as the distressed tabletop. And this model has the freestanding dinette, 
and the hide a bed in the rear if you need to the extra sleeping position. Their lighting hardware is really pretty. I'll turn this off and you might be able to see a little bit better with the Edison bulbs. You're going to have USB charge ports, at least one, sometimes two, by each sleeping position so you can charge your phones and tablets off the batteries. Another nice thing is they are using the slow rise shades, block out a lot more light than the aluminum mini blinds or the fabric shades. Easy pull and get going right back up. All lights inside and out are LED. And up here, just below the TV mount, as you see, is an electric fireplace that can output heat. Or right now, I just have the flame on to set the ambience here. Directly above that, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Blu-ray player. A lot of people really like this big pantry with the glass door. Open that here. Incredible amounts of storage in a small trailer. Looks like the counter or the sink cover is on the floor in there. Back to the kitchen. They do a flush mount, cooktop and sink. So once you have the sink cover in here, it gives you a nice level working surface area across. I also really like they're using what's called these seamless edge uh, high gloss countertops. Rather than your traditional T-molded edge where with this sink, if you're cleaning or wiping, you get water on it. Normally it'll soak into that T-mold expand. Uh, it looks really junky after time. This day is looking really nice and sharp. And this is using the newest Furion ovens. Same blue LED accents built into the burner knobs. Eight cubic foot refrigerator. So larger than your standard six. And your stainless steel appliances above. Air conditioning is ducted. So you'll see the ductwork throughout, which is nice because the bedroom is private up front. So if you have the AC running, you're still getting the airflow up there. Going through, we'll have a full width bath separating the bedroom from the living area. Really big storage compartment in here for linens. Medicine cabinet with mirror. As well as a foot flush toilet and a large glass enclosed angle shower with the skylight above. So you can see the snow on top of the trailer that we're getting here. Fantastic fan as well. Bedroom up front, walk around Island Queen. Big atrium style window on the door side. An emergency fire exit on the other. Do have some storage underneath the bed. Hanging wardrobe on either side with some cabinets above. And secondary TV connections for the bedroom. So again, this is the all new 2019 Alpha Wolf 23 RDL. The L stands for laminated. The RD stands for the rear dinette. If you have any other questions about this model or any of the other Alpha Wolf floor plans, don't hesitate to give us a call. We appreciate your time in watching our videos.